that smile, um, who could resist it? For Gabe Batstone and his family, Tegan's murder has been devastating. We all lost you know, part of ourselves, again, because of one person's decision. Today, in his victim impact statement, he asked a judge and a courtroom of onlookers to put themselves in his shoes. He spoke of the special moments he'll never have, witnessing her graduation, marriage, even something as simple as taking a trip to the grocery store. You know, frankly, she should spend the rest of her life behind bars, in my opinion, and is lucky to be alive. Um, within the constraints of this situation, I just hope that her brothers are adults before they have to know that the person who killed their sister is walking free. It's not just her dad who has been hit hard. There's a whole family, including her stepbrother and half-brother. Court heard the seven-year-old is afraid he too is going to be killed. Submitting this picture to the judge to show just how he feels. The 13-year-old has had to change schools because of bullying and kids not understanding the impact. That's the reality. There's a stigma attached to murder. Um, my children know it. And so they don't just feel grief. You know, they also feel shame, which they should never feel. Tegan's stepmom, Stephanie, says the family lives in fear. Lisa Batstone was silent in the court as she listened to the victim impact statements. But when she went to leave, she partially collapsed onto a railing, sobbing. Her fate now lies in the hands of the judge. Mickey Cowan, CBC News, New Westminster.